All right, right now, uh, this is another update. I just put the engine in two days ago, and uh, I was bolting up the ball joints and noticed that when I pushed the axles in farther to where it was supposed to be, it's hitting my adapter plate. And let me show you what I mean. Right here, my adapter plate is cut to the, 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 to the bell housing shape. The problem that I have is right in here, you can see that I curved this to fit around the, the actual uh, curve of the input shaft hole for the transmission. But what's happening is, because of this CV joint, when I push this up close, it'll actually, it actually hits here. So what I've done is I've drawn a, uh, I've drawn a line with a magic marker and I'm going to have to take this whole engine back out. I'm going to have to disconnect this, uh, the engine from the trans. I'm going to have to take all these bolts out, I'm going to have to take this plate over, and I'm going to have to cut that. So, it's going to take a little bit of time and effort. So, the reason for this episode is really just to show you that, uh, make sure when you're doing a front-wheel drive car, that you definitely make room for this extra um, CV joint that's on the shaft, which I didn't take into account. So, because this was a lot of the car when I measured it, <coughs> I didn't realize, I totally forgot about that piece. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. So the other alternative is to die grind it with a grinder, which I really don't want to do because I'm too close to the motor and I don't want to get a lot of gunk inside my motor. So I'm going to take it back out. I'm going to take, them, take this apart. I'm going to cut it, and then I'll put it back in the car again. So that's going to be the uh, laborious task of, uh, of putting that back together again, which is very time-consuming, to say the least. Probably take all day. So anyway... That's my update. Okay, we got the engine back out of the car, and you can see what I'm talking about now with the uh, with the cutout. You see how I've got the cutout around here? I cut around the actual hole and the uh, the bearing around it. But what I didn't do was I didn't take into account the CV joint. So really, I marked it out with a marker. I'll take this back apart. I'll cut this with the bandsaw. I'll put it back together again, and we'll put it back in the car, and we'll do it all over again. So hopefully, we'll have it all back together tomorrow this afternoon so that's the plan okay I took, a, I took the transmission off this is the adapter plate one thing I forgot to show you before was this uh, clutch disc the clutch disc came off the original transmission and it was manufactured onto this steel I mean this aluminum plate with all these um, Allen key nuts that, that, that hold it on and then what it does is if you can look back here you'll see how this, this is actually coupled onto the, the shaft with these couple this coupler. It slides onto the shaft. It's got a key that fits inside. And uh, I'll take that off in a minute. And then I'll uh, take these four bolts off. Okay, there's a bolt down here, down here, up here, up here. So there's four bolts all together, and this whole thing will just slide off after I take this off. So that's how the... I forgot to put that in the other video. So this I'm just showing. It's I'm basically taking it apart, but I'm going to put it back together and put it back in the car. Okay? Okay, I got the engine back in after uh, cutting the adapter plate and it looks like it's good. I wrapped the engine with uh, plastic and paper bag. I mean it's a plastic uh, garbage bag. Wrapped it up with duct tape, stuck it back in there so that it would um, protect it from any debris while I'm working on the rest of it when I'm doing the fabrication process for the board that will go on the top of this. There will be a board that goes on the top and there will also be uh, some battery, battery uh, boxes made to fit down here. So everything looks good, I think. Uh, I just have to fabricate that one piece on the side there. I'm having a little bit of problems putting the ball joint back on for this tire right here. The other tire I got on, so that works pretty well. So um, I think I'll have to get a new spindle for that one, but we'll see. And then this one I actually have. The tire is actually back on, which is really good news. So anyway, it's been a long day, so this is about it. So that's the... Uh, Hyundai Tiburon is coming into shape with the electric motor.